We have a few announcements this evening. First of all, residents are reminded to use caution and adhere to all regulations when using safe and sane fireworks during the 4th of July holiday. All violations will be vigorously enforced, and I'd like the chiefs maybe to uh, update us on uh, preparations for the 4th. Good evening, Honorable Mayor, members of the City Council. Um, I'll talk a little bit about some of the pre- Fourth of July uh, campaign uh, safety features that we've uh, we've gone about, uh, and then Ed will talk about some of the enforcement uh, things. So, uh, June eighth, we um, conducted a fireworks seminar, um, including distribution of safety literature, booth posters, and etc. to all the organizations that are selling fireworks. Staff also distributed about three hundred warning posters to all city facilities all public schools, private elementary and middle schools, both Cappuccino, Peninsula High Schools, and also Skyline College. Uh, cable TV has been running 4th of July public service announcements um, all month, and beginning uh, this weekend, uh, all advertising on Channel One will be fireworks related. Uh, this month's city what message is fireworks related. Uh, beginning tomorrow, all the booths will be inspected. Um, fire staff will also attend a a great briefing by the PD uh, operations uh, led by uh, Chief Barberini on the evening of 4th of July, and we'll also staff an extra engine um, on the 4th of July. Um, also, all the illegal fireworks that are collected by the San Bruno Police Department are turned in through other means, will be, and, I mean, that will be turned in through other means. We we'll collected, weighed, tr and transported to our magazine, uh, reported to the state, and delivered for disposal. So with that, uh, I'll turn it over to Chief Barberini. Thank you, Chief. Uh, good evening, Honorable Mayor, Council Members. Um, as the uh, Fire Chief mentioned, officers of uh, the San Bruno Police Department will be strictly enforcing the prohibited use of illegal dangerous fireworks, as well as the improper use of safe and sane fireworks in the days prior to and during the 4th of July holiday. Uh, police staffing levels have been increased to accommodate enforcement efforts and officers will be deployed in marked vehicles, unmarked vehicles, on bicycles, and on foot uh, during the holiday. Last year, the City Council made some changes to the Municipal Code that everybody should be aware of. Uh, safe and sane fireworks can now be used from June 28th through July 3rd between the hours of 12 p.m. and 9 p.m., and from noon until 11 p.m. on the 4th. Uh, safe and sane fireworks are only allowed on private property, and when used should be a minimum of 10 feet from any structure or combustible material. Uh, safe and sane fireworks are not allowed on any public street, park, school, parking lot, or any vacant area open to the public. The City Council has authorized the issuance of fines for violations of fire regulations. Individuals who violate the law regarding safe and sane fireworks use or who are caught with dangerous or illegal fireworks are subject to arrest and or a fine of up to $1,000. Uh, the police department would also like to remind residents that the municipal code section also applies to anyone that allows, causes, maintains, or, or permits a violation of the code to exist or continue by any act or any omission. So that's something to keep in mind. Over the next few days, officers will be contacting residents in areas where the use of illegal fireworks have been frequently used in past years to both review existing statutes and to alert residents of our dedicated enforcement uh, efforts in, the, in those areas. Uh, public notices, as mentioned by the fire chief, public notices have also been distributed via San Bruno Cable and all of our social media outlets. Uh, Police Department wishes everyone a happy and safe Independence Day and urges all residents and visitors uh, to our city to abide by rules uh, pertaining to fireworks while they're celebrating. Thank Great. you. Thank you. I hope it's all uh, safe for all of our troops, too. Very important. I just had one thing to add. Um, the difference between safe and sane and illegal fireworks is um, safe and sane fireworks are usually on the ground. They don't fly up in the air. Anything that flies or explodes is illegal. So just to be clear. So when you see those beautiful ones going up in the sky, those are illegal fireworks. Right. Thanks, Chiefs. Appreciate it. Uh, second announcement. Due to a vehicle accident that caused damage to the San Bruno Senior Center, the City Senior Center Nutrition Program, will be relocated to St. Robert's Church Hennessy Hall on Oak Avenue until further notice. Senior programs will be held as usual in classrooms in the eastern part of the Senior Center building. And Carrie, would you give us an update, please? Good evening, Mr. Mayor and members of the City Council. I'm pleased to announce that all regular senior lunch services, programming, classes, and events have now resumed. 
the lunch service along with dancing and daytime bingo is offered at the St. Robert's Hennessy Hall. All senior center, uh, oh excuse me, at the senior center we are offering a variety of club meetings, classes, and Pedro. Because we needed additional space to accommodate all the activities that usually occur in this room and the room that we don't have access to, we are now offering tap and line dancing at the recreation center and yoga and Pilates at the Portola Performing Arts Center. We're asking uh, anybody that would like the specific schedule, addresses, and so forth to log on to the city's website at www.sanbruno.ca.gov. As we look forward over the summer, uh, shortly prior to the beginning of the school year and at the end of August, and once we conclude the delivery of the summer youth programs at the Recreation Center, we will be moving programming and the lunch service that's currently at St. Robert's and the services that are currently at the Portola Performing Arts Center to the Recreation Center. This will occur on Monday, August 21st. This will be the first date that we can actually use the Recreation Center because that'll be the first day where kids will be returning uh, to school or preparing for the school year. There may be a very brief interruption in the delivery of lunch services for a day or two on August 17th and 18th to accommodate St. Robert's preparation of the school year and the conclusion of the summer youth programming at the Recreation Center. I mention this only to begin to give people uh, an idea of th that we will transition from St. Robert's to the Recreation Center as soon as St. Robert's needs Hennessy Hall for the school year. We will publish and uh, use our phone tree to provide this information to seniors as that date gets closer, and we'll keep the council updated. Carrie, I know a lot of people have asked me, it, it just happened uh, literally a few days ago, but uh, any idea, length, is it we talking four, five, six months? Are we talking, uh, you have any feeling for that at all? So we have a meeting tomorrow, uh, which includes the city manager, the city attorney, the insurance adjusters, and uh, David Wiltrain, the community development director, and Roy, uh, the chief building official. We'll begin to start to get an idea of that, and I'm sure the city manager will report to the council. Okay, very good, thank you. We do have one more announcement that wasn't on the agenda. If you all saw the food and home section of last Sunday's Chronicle, it highlights downtown San Bruno, calling it the home to the Bay Area's most diverse food scene. And so it's a wonderful article, and uh, it, it highlights, I think, eight or nine of the restaurants, but we all know there's many more down there than eight or nine, so it's, a, it's an up-and-coming place. Uh, it is, if you're looking for diversity. And so it's a wonderful article and really highlights your downtown, so more to come.